Welcome to Postscript. Here we hope to answer your questions and help you dig deeper into the messages and sermons at FaithBridge by talking with the teacher of the day. Hi and welcome to Postscript. I'm Luann Riley, Grow Group and Discipleship Director here at FaithBridge, and I'm here today with Mike DeStefano, who just brought us a message, Obsession and Obedience. Welcome back, Mike. Thank you. What a pleasure to have you back here on that side of the chair. Yeah, yeah. so fun yeah. to be back with family. So, um, you are uh, back with us after finishing seminary. Congratulations. Yep. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's awesome. Feels and uh, are with Passion City. And so today you uh, looked at Matthew chapter 6, mm -hmm. uh, where Jesus is teaching. Um, and we talked about your treasure and your heart. And one of the things that you talked about was this idea of worship. Mm -hmm. um, even talking about how even outside of the church, this is a concept that your what you worship is what your life will be about, what your heart is about. Um, and so I think for a lot of us, when we hear the word worship, mm -hmm. um, I know for me, I default to thinking about worship service or worship music or mm -hmm. singing or being in church on Sunday morning during praise and worship. Yeah. Um, but the Bible gives us a very different picture of a more fuller picture yeah. of the what the word worship means. Can you speak to that? What do you mean when you say worship? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, it's interesting to answer that question from the perspective of like a David Foster Wallace mm -hmm. who used the word worship over and over again. Uh, he would say, everybody worships. There's no such thing as not worshiping. And you go, for a non-believer, someone who doesn't believe in God, what does he mean when he says the word worship? And that's an interesting way to come about it because uh, he actually takes it out of like a religious jargon sense and he mm -hmm. makes it real, you know, real life worship. Mm -hmm. And what's so interesting about that is he gets nearer to the heart of what worshiping is in the Bible than oftentimes what Christians yeah. think. Because oftentimes, like you said, we think of just singing maybe, mm -hmm. uh, or that's the song portion of the service, mm -hmm. but the Bible has something much deeper in mind um, when it talks about worship. And so uh, a great example of that would be Romans uh, chapter 12, mm -hmm. verse one and two, when uh, Paul says, present your bodies as a living sacrifice, for this is your spiritual worship. Mm -hmm. And he takes body, flesh, and spirit, and he says, when you present your body, when it's your whole mind, heart, will given to God as a sacrifice, that is spiritual worship. Mm -hmm. And so it's not disconnected in any way from what you think, what you feel, and then what you actually do. Mm -hmm. And that's worship. It's a whole body, yeah. whole so life, like our whole, whole mind commitment. Whole life worships God. Totally. And you tied that to obedience. Mm -hmm. um, because when we when we worship God, we obey Him. Yeah. When we're following what He wants with our minds and our bodies and our heart and we're saying surrender, mm -hmm. all of it, that that yeah. uh, allows us to be obedient. And I like how you talked about how uh, a lot of us struggle with like feeling like, oh gosh, I always mess up. Like I want to <laughs> yeah. wanna follow God and I want to pursue Him, but yet I find mm -hmm. myself failing and not being obedient and how worship is such a huge mm -hmm. part yeah. of um, our lives and our hearts. So yeah. great message well, thank today. thank you so much, yeah. Um, but also while we're here, let's catch up like yeah. of what you've been doing <laughs> uh, since we've seen you. So yeah. you're with Passion City now yep. in Washington, DC. Uh -huh. So tell us what your role is there and what you're working on. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, uh, join staff. Um, I, I spent a little bit of time there this summer just kind of getting into the Passion world because there was a period of time where I was gonna help plant Passion City Church and had never been to Passion City Church. <laughs> and so I got to go just learn the culture and uh, it's just been incredible. Like it's a group of people that are fiercely committed to the glory of God, His radical grace, and then lives extended in worship. And so, um, so I actually finished seminary in October, officially, uh, turned in my last paper for seminary, packed up my car, drove to DC and just started work. And we've been just blown and going since. So um, I am, my official title, is Director of Community and Formation. Okay. So I'm overseeing what we would call grow groups, but what mm -hmm. we're calling community, community groups, groups yeah. over there. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, eventually I'll get to help start college ministry, youth ministry, things like that. Um, right now, we have done a couple of vision nights. Mm -hmm. So just garnering interest, it's sort of just introductions, shaking hands. Uh, but the thing that we're really funneling people to is community groups because mm -hmm. that's beyond an introduction that builds, into real builds life. The foundation, yeah. Yeah, so that's mm -hmm. what we've been telling people. Like we didn't show up in the city just to shake hands. We came to link arms, and we we just believe that this is the group of people that God's going to use to be a transformative presence in D.C. And so it's such an 
honor and a privilege to get to help lead those and think through the direction that those will go in the next few years. So yeah, that's uh, exciting. Yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> it really is. It's been really cool. All right. Well, we love following along with the journey and that uh, Faith Bridgers were so generous, just <laughs> radically generous in, yeah. in helping oh uh, Passion City and Ben and you guys. And so we'll be following and yeah. praying and uh, look forward to hearing more about the exciting things that God's going to do through yeah. Passion City, D.C. Well, thank you so much. All right. Well, thank you for being here with us today. It was a great message. Uh, thank you for joining us here today for Postscript. We'll see you back here next week. Thanks for joining us for Postscript. Help us keep the podcast interactive by submitting your questions during the morning services. Learn more at faithbridge.org slash postscript.